content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. You have all my sexual fantasies about the Cocoa Pops monkey. <laughs> I'd rather have your a bowl mum prefers... of Freddy's, mum. <laughs> your mum prefers Rice Krispies because Snap, Crackle and Pop remind her of a foursome she had once. <laughs> <laughs> Just Snap, Crackle, yeah. Pop's left. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hello and welcome to Dead Men Talking with me, Rob Mulholland. As ever, I am joined by a big fat cunt and a tiny little cunt. Hello. How are you doing? I'm not too bad, mate. How are you? I'm all right, mate. Yeah, can't complain. I'm actually in a really bad mood. I don't know why I said I'm all right. Yeah, you've been fucking grumpy. Why are you grumpy? R rumpy, did rumpy. you say? You've always been very <laughs> rumpy. That is fair. That is a fair description of you. Thick with three C's. <laughs> Why are you grumpy? I am grumpy because um, I got fined by Mersey Rail. Um, Flashing again. What? Flashing again. I didn't know she was 14. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's that's how that's punished. I don't think, hey, you exposed your dick to a 14-year-old, 80 quid fine, 40 if you pay it in 30 days. <laughs> I thought she was 16. I thought it was fine. <laughs> I, was, I was just expecting a slap on the wrist. <laughs> no, put it away. Slap. Yeah. Just a little bob on the bell end. Slap on the dick. <laughs> yeah, get it off. Sounds Stop like it, you. Sounds like what happens in that sex dungeon we went to. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, right, uh, yeah. Mersey Rail are fucking cunts and I hate them. Okay. Right. So I was travelling to Liverpool about a month ago to do the uh, chaotic quiz, the Sancho sure. Carl thing. And I was running really late. And so what I did is I got on the train at Ormskirk and I got on the train straight away. Didn't have a ticket, but I have done this so many times. Mm -hmm where you just buy a ticket at Liverpool. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's standard, isn't yeah, it? It's yeah, yeah, like, I've done it loads of times. Uh, you know. Lo and behold, I went to buy the ticket, like I do every time, and then this woman took me to these two fucking enforcement officers. Oh, yeah, they're the best. That tried to find me 20 quid, and I told them to go fuck themselves. Yeah. And then he went, he, oh, mate. So, so they get you really angry. Yeah, yeah. They make you swear. Yeah. And then they do the, uh, sir, could you not swear at my... Yeah, yeah. And I went, I'll use whatever fucking language I want. Yeah. Because, because how weird is it yeah, yeah. for them to be like, uh, not only are we going to fuck you, but you have to be real polite about it. Yeah, fuck yeah. off. So uh, they, they find me the 20 quid. Uh, and I got a... I forgot about it because yeah. I don't care. I got a letter through the post saying um uh we you now owe 40 pounds right yeah. and so i emailed them and i i emailed them and i said um i don't remember can you give me the evidence as to when this was because i thought they're not going to have the evidence are they uh -huh. and if they don't have the evidence they can go fuck themselves okay. so i so i emailed and said can you just send me the evidence and i can get this sorted and they went uh, but i sent it from my freddie quinn account yeah uh and so they think my real name is Freddie Quinn. Right. It's not. Spoiler. Yeah. Um, it's fat cunt. It's fat. <laughs> it's fattius cuntius. Uh, <laughs> my mum and dad were Roman generals. <laughs> 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 That's a Monty Python sketch that needed to happen, wasn't it? Yeah. Biggest diggers. Cuntius. Fattius cuntius. <laughs> <laughs> cuntius. <laughs> Just you, like, I won't go to the vomitorium. It's a waste. <laughs> It's vital calories you're throwing up. Yeah, just someone trying to feed you grapes. You're like, no, <laughs> no, more meat. I was batting them away like a cat with a string. Yeah. <laughs> no, get them away. Let me lie on the shay long. Yeah. Uh, so. Just getting fanned with big sheets of Parma ham. <laughs> 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 oh, it's a lovely breeze. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop biting our sheets, fatty as cunt as. <laughs> so, um, uh, th they said, was the ticket in your name? And I said, yes. Yeah. And they've sent me a thing and they've gone, well, send us a picture of your ID yeah. and we'll get this processed. Yeah. And I went, no. Yeah. And they've sent me an email now that I'm very fucking annoyed about. Yeah. Uh, they said, 
Um, and I quote, uh, if this is not received, then this notice will continue to progress and eventually be sent to a magistrate's court. If the required documentation is received, we will be able to fully assist you. Yeah. Like, no, I'm not sending a stranger my fucking details because you threatened me with court. How about you go fuck yourself? Do they do they have your address? Yeah. Right, then you're fucked. Then you do need to do it. Why? Because they can they can sue you. The bit where you're fucked up I'm not up asked. Is, the bit where, well, you're just, you're just going to end up with a no, CCJ. No, 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 It'll no, 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 no. Because, because I'm not legally required to fucking assist them with their inquiries. You are, you like, are. yeah, you are at this point. No, yeah. I'm not. The bit where you no fucked way. up. The, no way. The bit where you fucked up is, you know, those enforcement officers, they yeah. don't have the power to detain you. You should have just walked away and not said anything. Like, I've had this before. Like, I, so I used to go uh, into, like, when I worked in Leeds, I lived on, like, the outskirts of Leeds, get the training every day. Uh, I'd park Harrogate. Up. You lived in Harrogate. No, like I, I lived. Uh, this is when I lived in it. Like uh, I lived in Leeds. This was oh, okay. like it was like on the edge of Headingley, where I lived. I used to live in Headingley. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, I was. Uh, I'd get the train every day. Right. It's like two stops, and it was the same sort of thing. Sometimes there'd be like loads of people on the platform queuing for the ticket machines. The train had come. I get on it. I pay at the end. Right. Do right. it every day. One day I get there and I get off and I like I bought my ticket from where I came from. Okay. And then, uh, then after I'd bought the ticket at the end, this like enforcement lady came up to me and was like, uh, it's just like, where did you come from? And I told her to stop two stops away. And she goes, I don't believe you. And I was like, cool story, bro. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, okay. Oh, oh okay. I'm you like, don't believe me, do you not? Cool. <laughs> and then she goes, and she goes, if you went from that station, tell me how many ticket officers were there on the platform this morning? <laughs> I'm not right. doing a quiz like this, and I go. And mind you, you'd still get it wrong. Well, this was what. This is it. <laughs> so That's I, a callback to. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but like I said, as, as, like I said to her, I was like, I think I saw three of them today, and she goes, "There was four. and I was like, "I must have missed one." One was yeah. having a piss. Go yeah. fuck yourself. Like, I wasn't. I didn't know it had been come up later. I wasn't checking out for them. Yeah. Also, then, as, also as well, having known you the mm -hmm. way that I know you and your particular struggles yeah, with yeah. life with your disability, yeah. I don't think that that's the most accurate way of no. realizing whether or not you were or weren't no. somewhere. Do you remember things from where you were? No. no. <laughs> also, I assume you were probably stoned at this point as well. No, it was like uh, half eight in the morning. So, so yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I might have been, yeah. I had a very boring job at that point, so I might have done. But like, so like, and then I go, right, well, I don't care. And she goes, right, well, I'm going to, I'm going to speak to the people at the platform. And when they don't recognize you, then you'll be in trouble. And I went, okay. What, on a busy train station? And I went, okay, tell you what you can tell them to do, right? Stick their head out of the station and they'll see a little red car parked right outside. Gave them a number plate. And I went, then, uh, then you know, then you say that I was maybe there. And then I started walking off, right? And she yeah. goes, excuse me, you've got to stay. And I turned to her and I went, I don't think I fucking do, actually. And she goes, what? And I go, do you have the power to detain me? And she went, uh, uh, and I went, exactly. And I just walked off and she went, ah, come back here or you'll be in trouble. And I went, I failed to see how. And then I just walked out of the station. I'll she does you have your license plate, though. Yeah, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. What yeah. a, but what? like, but like, no, because like, if she does check that, she'll see it was parked outside oh, the yeah, fucking yeah. station. I said, like, so I, she definitely will have got on the radio to them, and I knew the ticket guards on that station because I was there every day. I chat to them, so okay. they would have been like, you go, oh, was there a massive guy with glasses? I'm really easy to describe. Yeah, yeah. What a wonderful gone, yeah. story of a six foot seven man shouting in a woman's face. Yeah, she was a little. <laughs> what a beautiful story that know, is. That's why it was so lovely. I failed to see why. Yeah, that's why I love it. It was the one time I was justified. <laughs> um, the one time mansplaining worked for yeah. you. Well, yeah, not I'm, not, I'm not legally obliged to fucking help I think these once, I think once no, you're in this not, situation, no you, chance. you, you no. are fucked. How? How? You, why did you give them your details? There are, you what, sorry? Why did you give them the details in the first place? I thought they were police because they were dressed like police. That's where you fucked up. They're not yeah. actually police. Yeah, they were dressed like police, though. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, regardless... Mersey Rail of fucking cunts. I agree with that, but you are I'm now. not sending you my idea, you fucking mad. I think you kind of have to. No, now. I don't have to. Well, they're going to keep escalating it then, and it will go okay, to court. Okay, cool. And you'll get, you'll get... It could go to court, and I'll show the court that I've several times asked for the evidence so I can get it settled, and they've decided not to. Who are we Who do you get... think the court are going to side with, them and me? Th them. Wrong. <laughs> Who are we going to get to present the show when Freddie's in prison? Yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll have a, we'll have to do a rotating cast. Uh, Naked Martin is my first yeah, pick for quick, guest yeah. host. Yeah, really, that'd be a big upgrade. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you mean? It'd smell nicer in here. <laughs> 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 
so <laughs> it's more, it, it'd be nice to have a people person here as well. It would, yeah. Someone who's actually nice. That would be good. I mean, I'm really not a fucking people person. No, no, no. I really don't like people. Mm, you're I mean, a food I, person. I am actually. I love food. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, and I, I, I mean, I know that you meant that. As a fat joke. Yeah, it was a fat joke. But it yeah. is also a fat But you only love me. some food, you know. You, you, you pick it. Who loves all food? You're a food bigot, is what you are. Oh, I mean, usually there's a comma in between those two things. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm happy yeah. to be bummed Well, we've been together. called worse. Have you, seen, uh, have you seen what we've been called this week? Oh, yeah, I saw on... So, uh, so was Tom, it YouTube that someone... I don't know, Tom found this comment. Where was it that it was posted? It was on YouTube. It was on YouTube. It uh, like it... Someone called us racist paedophiles. So they called you two. I wasn't on this episode. Right. Okay. So what does the comment say? It says, this is from Ellen May. Uh, All right. Who I, I assume has signed up for Patreon now. Uh, <laughs> Becky's cool. This is about the. Re- we agree. Uh, Becky, t- Becky is very cool. Rebecca yeah. Goodwin, very yeah. cool. Becky's cool, but you two act like racist pedophiles. And she spelt pedophiles. Right, so she's, she's probably American. American, yeah. There's no need for what you say sometimes. Uh, no, there's no need for what you say. Should be a comma here. Sometimes you're funny, but you're also really scary and worrying. <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you, I think that there's a lot of talent to sit in a Venn diagram of funny, scary, and worrying all yeah, at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's something there. That's how, like, she has nailed what we're going for. Yeah, like <laughs> a like a rapist with a clown flower that squ- <laughs> squirts cum at you. <laughs> like, it's awful, but what a laugh. Yeah, I know. Get it away from uh, yeah. me. Like, but like I Jeffrey appreciate Dahmer doing knock-knock jokes. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you get into a tiny car thinking you're only going to get assaulted by one person. No. Turns out it's actually loads of them. <laughs> right. What I really liked with can this... You, can you tell us anything about the about the assailants? They all have massive feet. <laughs> <laughs> Squeaky nose. Uh... Ethnicity. They were all white. Well, the makeup. <laughs> Kept pulling this chloroform rag out of his sleeve. Went for ages. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> couldn't tell if he had an erection the pants were too baggy <laughs> <laughs> what I really love with this right it's like when you say uh, the phrase racist paedophiles really made me laugh because what does that mean right is that someone who is racist and also a paedophile or is it someone who's a paedophile in a racist way <laughs> <laughs> you're like I'll just fuck certain kids yeah like is it is it better or worse if you only fuck kids of an ethnic minority like a specific one yeah. or if you exclude them I think it depends how many there is right so if you only fuck like uh Chinese kids yeah. then that's all a big market uh sure. to be fair most of them are at work uh but yeah. if you <laughs> it's only a big market if you're in China yeah but but if you only fuck inuits like Eskimo mm. children. That's, that, that feels like personal. Seven, that feels, that feels like, like a grievance, doesn't yeah, it? That you get off your chair. Like, it feels like you have a feud with one family. <laughs> it's, it, I mean, you're just you'd big have to be... friends with a seal. <laughs> you'd have to be committed. Yeah, for, in, like to be fair, if you're fucking Inuit kids, fair play. You're, you're clocking up some air miles. Yeah, yeah. 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 The thing is, though, is they give you a blowjob by rubbing it against your nose. <laughs> Uh, drugging them and putting them into the back of a sled. <laughs> snow means snow. <laughs> oh, oh, snow means snow. Uh, they've got 38 different words for no. <laughs> that is nonsense, by the way. I know it is. It was just like, fucking don't be Stephen Fry up again. Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. a little reference. Okay. <laughs> so you know the whole, like, uh, Eskimos have got 38 different words for snow. Yeah. It's nonsense. It's bollocks. So um, we've got thirty-eight words for bollocks, is what he's saying. Somebody, <laughs> somebody put it in a paper to sort of prove that your language is developed by your surroundings. I learned this at uni because I did linguistics, and they mm. never, they maybe never... did linguini. <laughs> that was it. I did linguini. Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> it was me and the lead character in Ratatouille. Uh, just got a horrible image of you feeding flat pasta down your piss hole. <laughs> Look at him just drift off. Then like. Oh, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's another way to consume pasta. You could be putting it in three holes at once. If you were going to do that, though, you'd use Papadali, which is uh, much I, wider. I think. You, do you want much wider? I think linguini's about the right size, mate. I don't know if I was looking at linguini, but if I was going to put that down my cock, it needs to be wider. <laughs> <laughs> Just like feeling it, do you know what I mean? Right. You've got a very girthy piss hole. 
What's the like spiral one? Would you do that? Fusily. Fusily, yeah. yeah. Go for that. Oh, I'll tell you what would be the worst. Conchigli. A fucking bow tie down your know. Oh, yeah. You, yeah, you, you genuinely used the... Oh, that's the shells, isn't it, Conchigli? Yeah, it's, yeah. Well, it's literally Italian for shell. All right. I don't speak Italian. Sorry, you look so furious about what's, my lack of knowledge of Italian. What's the really big one called? What, the really big one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, you just did that with your hands. It's, uh, it's called Gigantili. <laughs> <laughs> you just did that with your hands to imply yeah. that there was a single piece of pasta yeah. that was like a an American football size. No, but yeah. with Tom's little hands, I think he was just <laughs> meaning the bow ties. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, what do you mean, Tom? The big one? The big one? I don't know. What it is. They, they are bow ties, but big. I don't know. What, what does it call? I don't know, mate. No. I don't know what big bow ties you've seen. <laughs> <laughs> big bow ties. I thought Freddie might know. He's like. Mr. Pasta expert? Uh, I think that you might be thinking... That is what they call him when he goes to Japan. Professor Pasta. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Pasta Man. <laughs> Mr. Pasta Man. Yeah, that's what yeah, his, yeah, that's yeah. What his cleaner refers I, to him as. Yeah. The worst thing Mr. is the Mr. Pasta kid, Man, are you finished with this plate? <laughs> the worst thing is the kids singing that I come from far away. <laughs> And I can play. <laughs> what can you play? I well, play I the penne. Yeah, I was going to do penne. Penne, 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 oh, penne, oh. <laughs> uh, I'm making a lot of pan pipes out of penne. Pen pipes. <laughs> in my head, that would go viral in Japan in about seven minutes. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'd just yeah, go yeah. over there and do it, and then they'd all be like, oh, and then they'd, you know. You'd be like a celebrity. Like when Homer has his face on the, the box. Mr. Mr. Sparkle. Mr. Sparkle. <laughs> It's that on a jar of pasta sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I went to uh, I I took my dog a walk the other day. Yeah. Uh, I said the other day, yesterday. Um, and I does your you've, you've <laughs> be not, more specific, please? Yeah. You've not what got a time? Dog. You've not about mm, four um, a.m. or p.m. Four a.m. Yeah, I got yeah. to put four o'clock in the morning to take my dog for a walk. Yeah. I, he had to get his uh, pasta on the boil. <laughs> I mean, that would be funny, but you only boil pasta for 10 to 12 minutes. But... Oh, no, it's just a little joke, mate. Okay. Sometimes jokes aren't facts. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> those are different things, mate. Make sure you salt it beforehand. A lot of people don't. I don't. Like, again, just a little joke, mate. Yeah. Okay. Just a little joke. We're not doing recipes right And now. also as well, putting oil in the water, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, if you use a big enough pan, it just won't stick anyway. Anyway, facts. Uh, do you have a dog, Tom? No, I've got a cat. No one cares about cats. Oh, you've got, cat's you've got. Is yours still alive? You... Just about. Yeah, he's a bit mentally ill at the moment. My dog. It's um... dementia. <laughs> <laughs> he has gone weird. Like Your dog's got Alzheimer's. He is spending a lot of time at the moment. Like when we let him out the back, right? Normally, he would go out, have a piss, come back in. Bush regulation. He might have a bark at a cat if there's one about. Yeah. Right? But at the moment, what he's doing is he goes outside, and there's a bit of gravel that last week he started digging up because, right, he dug it up for a, like, and he kept doing it constantly. We get him back in, he got and dig the same spot. Eventually, he dug up a, a, a mouse corpse, right? So we got rid of the mouse corpse, but now he just goes out and he just stares at this hole, and he just goes out every time we let him out for a piss. He just runs out and he just stares at this hole, and he just stares at it for like ten minutes until we're like, "Do you want to come back inside?" And he's like. Right, yeah, he comes back in. It's gone weird. Right. Yeah, it's because your dog's very old and it's yeah. going to die. It's because he got fucked up by months. a firework. So we've got to get a behaviourist to come out. They're very expensive. We've got we've got to get a behaviourist out. Uh, we've gone why did you fill much, the hole in? How much? We have done. He's just staring at where it was. How yeah. much yeah. does your behaviourist cost? Well, we got quoted 250 quid, so he's on to fuck off and we're trying to find a cheaper one. I will do it for yeah. less. Right. What's your plan? So, my plan is to have dog treats and to wear steel toe cap shoes. Mm -hmm. And every my time... dog doesn't really feel pain. You want like, to He doesn't really feel pain. He like he, he twats. Oh no 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 no! I'm going to humiliate him. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah yeah. It's going to be weirdly more kinky men. training. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get the Vicky from Townhouse. <laughs> Has the dog got a safe word? <laughs> Tie him up on one of those wheels. Yeah. Rossages. <laughs> <laughs> His safe word's meow. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, imagine him telling the other dogs, I just got just got BDSM'd by that pasta guy. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, it's that... a Japanese fucking Akita. Like, oh, I know him. <laughs> <laughs> My owner's obsessed. Um, so anyway, right. 
Uh, my plan is still coat toe cap shoes. Yeah. And every oh, do you know what you could actually do? Like joking aside, uh, if you get some compressed air and like that, it usually breaks their concentration long enough for you to like. Yeah, I can get him in. It's just annoying that I've got to go out, like go and fucking get him. So you're gonna spend two hundred and fifty pounds. Mm. Based on the fact that you can't be asked walking, no, no, six it's, it's, paces. it's not for the whole staring. That's one of many things. Like he, he won't go out on walks at the moment because he went out the other week and someone set off a firework really near him and he like fucked him up. Yep, and I like, drag him out. Yeah, we just... have done. Uh, like we got him out. We get him, and he just like he freaks out after a while. And, like he just like won't move and like pull home. He gets really scared. So we're just trying to. And also he does like attacking other dogs. Mm. He's got issues. We you know trade so him, can... trade him in, get a new dog. Yeah, no one will have him. Like you know, if we're sending him back to the shelter. No one's taking him home. Yeah, <laughs> and to be fair, as long as you don't know he's dead, to be, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll pitch it to the missus. Also, I'm quite attached to him. So, uh, okay. to be fair to uh, Rob's other half, she does have a thing for unfixable fuck ups. Yeah, that yeah. No one else wants. She's really got a type <laughs> like scruffy, borderline homeless. Like. Concentrate on the wrong things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it look broken? Yeah. Will it make my life harder and worse? Yeah. Come on in. It's because she's never had any challenges in her life, right? Because she's like, uh, she's just like got a lovely family who are really nice and they're rich and like just there's never been any like adversity in her life so she's had to artificially create it by going out with me and getting a fucked up dog yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking hell i mean that is pretty bang on fucking dr freud that yeah. is yeah um so i got a dog and i was uh the problem with my dog is epilepsy uh, epilepsy but also he will yeah i have an epileptic dog but also he will um eat. can't take it to a rave he will <laughs> It's a shame because it loves pills. <laughs> well, it also fucking loves mushrooms because. Oh, God, gotcha. yeah. So, so my dog helped himself to some wild mushrooms by the canal. Okay. Over there, right? And as soon as he started eating them, right, I looked, I literally, I checked my phone for a minute, I turned around, and he had a fucking face full of mushrooms, right? And he's just like. Yeah. And in my head. They my... say that dogs are like their own, isn't it? <laughs> my. <laughs> The weirdest thing is where he got the skillet from. <laughs> Fried him up with a knob of butter. A little bit of linguine. <laughs> Sticking it down his urethra. <laughs> so, um, He's making pasta a la fungi. <laughs> so, right. Uh, my dog will eat fucking anything on the... F- he's, he's nuts, right? He'll eat anything. And I kind of knew that him eating a mouthful of wild mushrooms probably wasn't a great it's rolling the dice isn't it's it? rolling the dice right yeah. so i immediately take a picture of these mushrooms yeah because i did wonder i saw you post on twitter what's this mushroom basically yeah and i was like is he it, like I, gen- I genuinely thought is that fat cunt looking for a snack <laughs> i was like that was that was she didn't put the context that it was for your dog I've been walking for so, over eight minutes yeah i was like is yeah. he fucking eating wild mushrooms well, is that where he's got to that's what you know about me you know i'm i'm, I'm a comedian stroke truffle hunter you know <laughs> You just let me loose around fucking boar and wood, and I just... Yeah. You do look like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> I could easily see you roaming yeah. the Italian hillsides on a rope with an old farmer shouting at you. Yeah, I look like I own a bank in a children's book. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a Telegraph cartoon. <laughs> Remember those piggy banks you used to get in Nat West? Yeah. <laughs> so, if Reddy says it's the top of this big hole in his back... So I'm I'm googling yeah. wild mushrooms, right? Yeah. Now I don't know if you've ever had to Google wild mushrooms before. Well, I've I've tried to identify magic mushrooms. It's fucking well. They're odd, so hard. The differences are so tiny. You really need to have an eye for it. Like my mate uh, Jay Hampson uh, used to be a comedian. You know Jay. Yeah. Uh, he's like an expert on nature. He knows what every animal is. He knows what every mushroom is, and he's the only person I'll trust to be like, yeah, that one's all right. He, he knows. It's every mushroom both looks exactly the same mm. as every other mushroom and completely different. It's it's so weird. Yeah, they'll be like, if you look underneath, there's one tiny, maybe grey spot. It might not have the grey spot, but if it does have the grey spot, you know, and it's all these like tiny... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really hard to identify mushrooms, right? So I'm sat Googling mushrooms, and I must have been stood there for about 20 minutes, right? And in the end, I decided to do a different tact, 
were I googled all the poisonous mushrooms, yeah. and I looked and I was like, "Is it those? Is it not those? Is yeah. it those?" Did you but, Google poisonous for dogs though? Because you know they're yeah. different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, actually, I just assumed that if it was poisonous for humans, then it's poisonous right. for dogs. But chocolate is poisonous for them. Shit, yeah, I didn't Garlic. think about the famous chocolate garlic mushroom you what i'm saying on. is different thing different things yeah. are for the, them the They're chocolate different. garlic mushroom that grows i'm in saying the if garlic yeah. and mush garlic and chocolate are poisonous to them and not us other things are poisonous to them that's not unreasonable no matter how much you try and make it unreasonable you big cunt right <laughs> some dogs eat dog shit so. yeah the fox shit mainly fox shit's like a jackpot for him like if my dog sees some fox shit i'll be like fucking yeah he loves it yeah, because they're rolling it, don't they? Yeah, he doesn't roll; he just eats it. Oh, Christ! Yeah. So maybe that's why he's ill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm looking through all these fucking uh, things, right? Yeah. And in the end, I'm like, I'm gonna have to take him a fucking vet. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, like I just, I'm gonna have to, aren't I? So I ring up the vet, and the vet's like, "Yeah, just take him in. We'll make him sick, right?" And mm. then uh, I showed him said, Freddy's nudes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they showed a picture of me in an adult baby costume. <laughs> it is sickening. The dog was just... <laughs> oh, Christ. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Look at the little nappy. It looks full. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and you can see that on Patreon. Patreon.com, £3 a month. I can feel the pasta coming up. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, threw up threw up pasta, then another dog came and ate it. They came together like... <laughs> <laughs> Look at the charm. So... Um, uh, they went, can you grab one of the mushrooms in yeah. like a poo bag and then take it because, uh, you know, we see mushrooms sometimes or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll ha- and I was like, yeah, good idea. So grab one. I drive 10 minutes, right? And we get to the car. My dog's not looking great, right? My dog's, his eyes are fucking <laughs> wide like this. And he's just sat in the car. And he's, st- he's had about half an hour as well. That's about how long it takes to kick in. <laughs> usually, usually my dog is excited that he's in the car or he's led down and he's just chilling. But what my dog was doing was stirring at the seat belt of his side of the car. And so I was like... The boy's tripping and, bollocks. And, well, this is it. I thought he was tripping balls, right? Yeah. Sounds like me at Bonnie of Air on Monday. And I, <laughs> I, 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 I sort of sh- shook him a little bit. And I was like, Dexter. And he was like, just not around. And I was like, right, okay. And then he started licking the seat belt thing right and i was like okay he kind of licks sometimes but he was just going at it right i tried to get him out of the car and usually again usually when you stop the car when you know he's gonna come out of the car he jumps and he's ready to go and this time he was just like a sack of shit he was just like this and so i've I, been there yeah and so i take this dog in and by this point he's not even happy about walking he's just like He's, he's kind of, it's like I'm dragging him along and he's just a bit spaced. And so we took him to the vet, right? And we got seen by the vet rapid as well, yeah. which is usually a good indication that you're fucked. It's like yeah. hospitals, isn't it? So the vet had him on the table. And again, taking my dog to the vet, usually he has to be muzzled at all points because he'll just go. For, it's he a vicious hates, little cunt. Yeah. He hates the vets and he's vicious, right? This time he just, sat there just sort of cocking his head from side to side and i'm like we're both looking and we're like is he tripping balls or is he gonna die like, like what's... it's sometimes very hard to tell the difference between yeah. the two yeah. well this is it so we had to i had to pay 80 quid to make him sick yeah because the vet the, the vet looked at the mushroom and the vet was like Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what this is. Yeah. And I I know that this could be one of two ways. But I think for the 80 quid, you should just err on the side of caution. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. So we had to make him sick. And he was all last night, he was like tripping balls a little bit. And I think it's because as well, when you make him sick, they're groggy as fuck mm. anyway. But yeah, I miss Jerry Sadovitz uh, for that. Well, uh, I hope your dog's all right. Uh, no, you don't. No, I don't really care. Yeah. But uh, but what I would say is uh, it'll probably be good for him, a bit of mushrooms. It's good for you. Uh, it's good for dogs as well, I assume. You know, sort yeah. him out. Might, might, might make him less sad about having you as an owner. <laughs> yeah. I uh, don't like the idea of mushrooms. Um, oh, mushrooms are one of the best drugs. I've, oh, I've, I've just thought about I've normal. Taken, I just love normal I've taken mushrooms. Them, I've taken them once when I was in Amsterdam. Yeah. and so literally the worst place to do a psychedelic. Like Amsterdam is terrible. Like it's the thing about Amsterdam is all the drugs are available, but it's a really bad place to do them because it's really confusing. Like and it's and it's chaotic and there's stuff happening everywhere. You want to do mushrooms in a nice field on a sunny day. 
you want to do it in a really beautiful, relaxing, be in nature, then it's the best experience. Makes you so happy and giggly, nothing's like it. Mm. And then like, you know, if you do enough, you can have a proper trip. Like, you know, it's, it's genuinely really good for you. I don't want really to do that. I don't want to do that because- It's really good for you. I don't know what I've repressed. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you know what Women. I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oppressed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine going on a trip and they're just talking. I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, but that that's why that that voting. Uh, uh. <laughs> Emily Panker, stop fingering yourself. <laughs> Get your tits out of my face. Uh, but no, that's why it's good for you, Mo Man, isn't it? Because it's the stuff that you don't know that you need to I deal with. Is dealt with. I don't want to deal with it. I'm fine now. I mean, you're not. I am. You're not. I'm a, you? A, you, th- you think you're fine, as I'm, is. I'm the most well-adjusted comic on the circuit. That is not true. I mean, it is true. You don't have any empathy. That's great. <laughs> that's, that's, that's you don't the have I- any emotion. That's the ideal way to yeah, be. Just being numb isn't the ideal, perfect, healthy, emotional state. Of course it is. What do you mean, of course <laughs> it is? <laughs> I don't think if you go to a therapist and you go, I don't feel any emotion, they're like, great, you've nailed it. (laughs) 10 out of 10, mate, off you pop. I can be of no use here. You've already smashed it. I'm not numb because I care about things that happen to me. (laughs) (laughs) It's the genuine confusion that gets me. It's like, like, you definitely believe this, don't you? This is a truth. It's it's the best way to be. Like, I don't care about most other people. Yeah. And that's fine. And the ones that I do care about, have I told you about my family? <laughs> don't know what, what bit. What the the TV show? No, they're all Big dead. Fan. No, I'm joking, they're not all dead. Yeah. Gotta be sad if two of them went. <laughs> so anyway, right? I've got a really large family. Um, I bet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're a fucking. <laughs> Why? It's so simple. Yeah, and, and it, it came out of nowhere as well. It was brilliant. Why do I do this? <laughs> Why do I let you have such tappings? <laughs> the fucking rude Van Nistelrooy of fat jokes. Mate, you really Just squared that across the goal for me, didn't all you? All inside the six-yard box. Mate, I'm Erling Haaland of fucking uh, of fat jokes. I'm just hanging around the box, <laughs> tapping him in. I don't care about pretty goals. I'm just fucking getting them in. <sighs> so, I have a... Big fat tubby family. <laughs> wide family. <laughs> Heavy family. Yeah. <laughs> I have a, I have a, I have a family which is l- large in number. <laughs> On the scales, <laughs> fucking nonce. Um, family trees reinforced. <laughs> it's a fucking oak. <laughs> My uh, mum is one of two, which isn't big or whatever. My dad is one of nine, mm-hmm. and. So I of those it's way too many. They all have working class, you know, shagging in it. Mm. You know, they just make kids. Yeah. So um, yeah, why not? Okay. So um, I reckon that I could name one, two, three lots of aunties and uncles. Yeah. So there's six lots of aunties and uncles whose names I don't even know, yeah. with associated cousins and things yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. In terms of in terms of like cousins and things and sort of seeing them, the ones that I do know, I reckon I've seen one cousin in the last five years. Yeah, I just don't because yeah, yeah. they're out of my sphere. And so yeah, it's I've just... got some like you know loose family like that. I've got a sister I've never seen. You got a dad you've never seen. Well, that's what I made. Like uh, he, he had a he had another kid. Did he? he had, yeah. <gasps> and like, uh, can have we more? reach out to her? Well, I don't know how to reach out to her. Like, Do you want to reach out to her? No, nah, not really. I don't really care. Just like, this. Just look for freakishly tall women. If she, if she, if... oh, what if you, what if your sister was your girlfriend? Yeah, that. Would... <laughs> <laughs> that there'd have to be a lot of things uh, gone very different in her life to mine. Uh, this is an urgent appeal. Yeah. <laughs> if I you... met her once when I were in a McDonald's when she was like three months old. So you know if that even counts. What I did mean... she like? What she looked like? Looked like a baby, mate. <laughs> a really tall baby. If you used to look like a baby, <laughs> please <laughs> get in touch. <laughs> you might be Rob's long lost yeah. sister. Yeah. Right? Do you know her name? No. Because I don't know what name she'll have used now, because I don't think, like... A first name? Uh, yes, but I'm not going to say it on here. Why? 
Why do you think? I honestly don't know. We're trying to find your sister. Unless it's a really weird name. Yeah. Like, unless it's like Guinevere. Yeah, but then... Watched one of the fucking machines at that's, Camelot. That's so I mean, weird. Yeah. yeah, she actually picks lottery numbers. <laughs> Well, yeah. that's what I mean. That's no, it's weird w- that you nailed it. She's called Guinevere. <laughs> it's a name, actually, Guinevere. No, it's not. It is. It's Gwyn. No, it's not. It is. It's Gwyn. Right, fine. It's not, then. It is Guinevere. It's Gwyn, yeah. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, 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 it's not. I know. There was a fucking second, though. <laughs> I thought for a minute. Yeah. I don't know. It's like Scottish, isn't it? <laughs> Guinevere. Yeah. You might have more than one sister. Yeah, I might do. Yeah, yeah. Probably have. Yeah. Knowing your dad's so, track record. So is your dad still go by Mulholland? I assume so. Okay, so if there's any women out there, probably Scotland, I reckon, I reckon they're fucked off back to what he knows. Maybe, I don't know. Either God North, mm. Scottish. There's no, there's no Scot that's running away from his family and going down south. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's, that's well, not already, what they... He's already come down once. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. not what maybe they... He's all, maybe he's running down from another family He's not before, a very right? Scottish, Scottish man. Like He doesn't have an accent anymore because he like went to like army like officer training and like trained right. his accent out of himself. Okay. So like, he's trying to hide the fact he's Edinburgh scum. Right, so if you're a uh, woman, how old would she probably be? I don't know, uh, late 20s? Late 20s. No, 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 oh, oh, no uh, I don't know, mid 20s. So know, no if idea. you're a woman, mid, I literally have no idea. Mid to late 20s, surname Mulholland, first name Guinevere. Not, not Guinevere. We know not it's not Guinevere. Guinevere. Yeah, we've, That's we've nailed not it. Guinevere. Yeah. Used to be a baby. Likes McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> I can't <laughs> say whether she liked it. She was just there. It I've wasn't been her to choice. McDonald's at least once. Yeah. Uh, uh, but if you're quite tall for a woman, which is probably going to be the case, isn't it? You'd Unless your so. dad like fucked a midget and balanced it out. Like... I mean, it's still, I still think <laughs> that's how it works. Either, I don't isn't think it? it is. No, I don't think you like you just get, like I don't think you just split the heights <laughs> of the two and meet in the middle. You, yeah, kids are always the mean of the parents because like, I'm taller than my dad. So I will, I'll tell you, Dad, six six, six six. So it's short so if, ass. So if your dad is six six and he used to be in the army. Yeah. And he's probably got like a, a Scottish lilt that's been trained at. I think Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah, and he yeah. also has an Irish tango. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little fizzy pop joke. A, a Welsh tizer. Yeah, 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 yeah. We could do this all day. Yeah. Oh my god. A let's Dutch Rubicon? Not. Yeah. <laughs> let's try and let's try and find Yes, this is a delicious guava drink. <laughs> let's let's try and find your sis your sister. I mean, like, yeah, like, I wouldn't, like, not, like, if she got in touch with me, I'd be like, oh, cool, but I'm also, like, not asked. Okay. You know? Here's the thing. If you got on dead well. Yeah. Would I? Would you fuck her? She's my sister. So that's that's well, a no. weird phenomenon, though, but, isn't it? When yeah, when yeah, relatives yeah. meet as adults, they yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they I did like actually uh, once at the Edinburgh Festival. I met a girl who uh, was also uh, a Mulholland, and I was like, nah, just in case. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, nah, I can't be sure, you know. So so, but but if she was gorgeous and she was like, you just got on with her and you had that thing, that would be great. That like, I had a, a fun sister. I, I don't care how she looks, right? It doesn't matter to me if she's fit or not. <laughs> She's my sister. If she was half sister, but, if but you, still. If you got back in touch with her and she was just dead ugly Freddy, and smelled. Freddie, Freddie, how? What do you think you're going to say that's going to make me go? Oh, I yeah, actually, I would fuck my sister. <laughs> like, how optimistic are you about and this happening? Clip that bit. <laughs> <laughs> Put it out online. We've got him. <laughs> what we need to do is we need to find who she is, and then when she gets in touch, we need to clip that bit <laughs> of you going, "Oh, I, I would fuck my sister." <laughs> Send that to her and just ruin the family dynamic for years to come. I don't know. It's like a great ship anyway. Yeah, there's, no, there's, not a, there's not a great family dynamic going on as it is, mate. You're not really ruining Christmas for me, to you be honest, pal. You have a word went for Christmas number one. Yeah. I want to go for a Christmas reuniting special. with Right, you want to do like a surprise, surprise, but you're Scylla Black. I absolutely. I want to You're be more, a slightly nicer Scylla Black. I want to be more Jeremy Kyle. Right. Actually, though, the reuniting episodes of Jeremy Kyle were yeah, fucking, were fucking shit. shit. I don't want to see you happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, what would it mean if your dad was in the studio just over there backstage? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, pricks. It'd be great if one of them was just like, you know, like, oh, um, you know, and what would you say if your sister was in the studio? Now I'd be like, I would shag her. I would do. And the other half of that clip. <laughs> <laughs> but yet, yeah, no. no, no, no is the answer. No, I think I'd uh, we'd go for a coffee and have a nice chat, and uh, that'd be nice. What if she had her head stuck in a washing machine? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what, like terminally? Have you not seen that? There's loads of porn videos yeah. where it's like, That's my like sisters were track. stuck in a washing machine. Oh, I have seen that. It is weird. Yeah, look it? at it pretending. Oh, I, oh, I think I have seen yeah, yeah, yeah. that. Actually. I think it was on somebody else's phone. Oh, oh now you mention it. <laughs> yeah. But in, in Freddy's all got the head stuck in a slow cooker. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was on high, so they had four hours before shit got down. No, oh, you no. had three hours to eat the pasta. And then... No, you add the stepsister to the sauce. <laughs> Bit of salt. Don't put the oil in. No, you wouldn't put oil in a slow cooker. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Why would you put oil in it? Why would you want a slow cooker? I cook think he was talking oil? about putting oil in his stepsister. It was, uh, oh, just, it was, it was more of a, it was just a little joke. reference just to you saying, talking yeah. about oil before. Just a little joke, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Just a little joke. It's just a little, a very little joke from yeah. Tom. Yeah. <laughs> very little joke. Little tiny, very little, little, little tiny, tiny, little tiny wee joke. <laughs> little tiny joke by a little tiny man. <laughs> well, speaking of people what's being the close... stuck in things, <laughs> before you, before you, before, what's the closest relative you chag? What's the close? Uh, second cousin. Second cousin, you were. I think probably one of my mates went out with his second cousin when we were at school, and it oh was- no no no, not go out with. It wasn't. Can you it- imagine that? Like, hey, do you want to meet my family? Yeah. I have. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it. I. I don't know if the uh, the awkward teenage shagging was worth the amount of abuse he got from his mates because oh, we yeah. slagged him forever. We called him Cletus for a while. Uh- wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So second cousin, you'd happily shag. Um, I, I don't know about happily. <laughs> Have you ever happily shagged? <laughs> I imagine it's quite grim with you. Just like out of breath, <laughs> flop sweat. Yeah, well, no angry, emotion. Yeah. Put it this way. Somebody, thinking about the carb loading he's going to do afterwards. Somebody who... Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have such a fucking pasta after this. No, I do it before and I'm like, babe, I'll fuck you, but I've got to finish this Arabiata. <laughs> Like a marathon. Put it this way: a man who do, a man one who... of them gels halfway through. <laughs> oh yeah, I shag with a Lucas Aid Sport on the desk. Makes uh, you go twenty percent longer. <laughs> put, so, it, put it a this minute, way: minute twenty seconds. A uh, a man with no empathy does not care if you orgasm. Put it that way. Yeah, fair. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not like, yeah. how was it for you? Yeah. I'm like, well, it yeah. was fine for me. <laughs> If you're enjoying Dead Men Talking, why not sign up to our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash deadmentalkpod. For only £3 a month, you get all sorts of extras, like this special I'm currently shooting in a sex dungeon. How are you doing down there? This is the worst day. Oh, fucking no, oh, no, shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what were you going to say? You were trying to make one of your shit segues. Speaking of shit segues. Yeah. <laughs> This has got nothing to do with it. Here's a shit segue. Right, yeah, here's a shit segue. Can you go onto the Dead Men Talking email? Mm-hmm. Uh, Talkpod at gmail.com. Send us your uh, uh, questions. <laughs> um, uh, and go on fish. Somebody uh, sent me this. Right. Now, this is quite amazing. Okay. Only quite amazing. Yeah. Full, full screen. Yeah. Right, what do you think's happening here? Is that is a man with a swordfish through his leg. Oh my god, yeah, it's, it's all no. through his leg. Right, see, what, what is actually happening here is a TV show is being made. Oh, yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, Look, there's a, a camera crew camera. in the background. There's a guy operating the fish. Look at the guy on the floor moving the fish. Oh. You fucking idiot. This went viral, like, like the other day. It's, it's a fucking TV show, isn't it? There's a fucking camera crew. Why do you think the camera crew were there? I thought it was like, because it was such a medical marvel that they brought out the camera. <laughs> There's a guy literally operating the fish. I you thought that guy was... stupid fat cunt. <laughs> I thought the guy was trying to like stop the fish from wriggling. Well, speaking of other shit segues... <laughs> right, the Grinder Cannibal. Is this Grinder as in the gay app, or is it someone who uses a weed grinder no. to grind up people? Wait a minute. Michigan Mi- Cannibal found guilty of murdering sorry, man sorry. called yeah, Kevin sorry. Bacon. Say, that sorry, say, say the name it's... of that state again. Michigan. <laughs> sorry. Michigan, well, Michigan. Some people say it different. Mi- yeah, some no. people say it wrong. <laughs> You can't just go, some people say it different. Yeah, I can. It's, uh, <laughs> I'd it's, say Rome. It's actually... Uh, what? I would say Rome. I say Rome because yeah. I say it in English. But in Italian, say What Rome. language is Michigan in? <laughs> anyway, <Italian. laughs> it's it's neither here nor there. Uh, so that my Chigan uh, yeah. cannibal <laughs> found guilty of... The Michigano. <laughs> the Michigan. The Michigan Ciao, man cannibal. Ciao, Bella. I think he shoved some Michigano down his knob. <laughs> 
Uh, Michigan man, uh, sorry, Michigan cannibal found guilty of murdering man called Kevin Bacon. What a coincidence. Yeah. Yeah. He met on gr- d- Grinder dating. He's guy. only I'm, got one degree of separation. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if your name is Kevin Bacon, you yeah. need to be extra careful of cannibals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, Mikey Sausage had a lucky escape <laughs> with this guy. Sorry, Mikey Sausage? Mikey Sausage. <laughs> Mikey Sausage. Yeah. Johnny I'll, Pancetta's got to watch yeah, out. Uh, Juan Chirito. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Billy Bearham. <laughs> You're both idiots. You're both idiots. Uh, Russell T Bone. <laughs> yeah, good. Thanks, good cheers. Good. I'm not saying one. Got to do one. No, I don't want to do one. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Martin Mintz. <laughs> I think he's on Apollo. Jimmy Park scratching. <laughs> Jimmy Park scratching. I think he used to come in the pub I worked in. <laughs> Paul Pork. You play for United. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, we've done enough names and meat. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, imagine if your name was Paul Pork. <laughs> uh, Keep getting invited to barbecues. <laughs> uh, shout out Dan I, Daniel podcast. I, I I suppose a woman once whose name was Anne Onion. <laughs> If your surname's Onion, you've got to be so careful naming. Well, well, she wasn't originally called An Onion, but oh, she married she into married the Onion family. She married a guy family. called Frank Onion, and so her name was An Onion. Just keep your surname. If you're yeah. marrying Frank Onion, like uh, well, Frank Onion, uh, maiden... that's the shit. It, that's such a depressing <laughs> name. To, I'm sorry, Frank, uh, but worth it when you marry a girl called Anne. <laughs> He's played the long game. Well, Annie. her maiden name was D. Cole. <laughs> Fucking awful. <laughs> could have think, you could have said so many other things. Could have done literally anything else no, and it would be better. I like Deco and Deco. Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> that wasn't the issue, mate. The issue wasn't that we hadn't been able to put it together. I know it might have looked like that from the lack of reaction from it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So oh, I had to sit no, here while I, I heard Jimmy Pork scratching <laughs> and Paul fucking Pork. Paul Pork But was when great. I did Anne D. Cole, you both looked disappointed in me. You yeah. can I, both fuck actually, off. Actually, he would have preferred it if it had been called Anne Drew Cole. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, like the footballer. That's what he was doing. Yeah, Andrew Cole. Oh, I think fucking... he just called him Andy, which he doesn't uh, actually yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, that's what confused me. Yeah. Are you I would have got it if he'd said Drew Cole. Trying to drive me insane. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Read yeah. this fucking thing about this mm. Kevin Bacon eating grinder cunt. <laughs> Old Peter Porkchop. I, God damn you. <laughs> oh, Larry Liver. <laughs> Larry Liver and add onions. <laughs> What a double act! Uh, they took Edinburgh by hey, storm. I'm Larry Liver, and she's Anne Onion, <laughs> and together we are Larry and Anne. <laughs> <laughs> it writes itself. <laughs> you see, delightful sausage. It's that easy. <laughs> Andy, delightful sausage. Shout out the delightful sausage. They're fucking class. Shout out. Um, so yeah, the Cannibal Fifty Three from Michigan. Whatever has been convicted of murdering a young man he met through the date night grinder. Fifty three seems late to get into cannibalism. Well, I don't think he's just <laughs> taking a foire. I think he's always been into a it. Foire. Well, yeah. this, this was definitely planned. Foray. This is definitely well what? planned. Foire. I was doing a. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um... He had previously admitted to killing the twenty five year old, eating oh, parts of his body, and hanging the mutilated naked corpse upside down from a ceiling at his home in Bennington Township. Upside down. So he hung, he hung him up like meat. Yeah, well, you know, that's he's bacon. And uh, maybe he's just trying to cure him. <laughs> maybe he's like, I'm feeling yeah. very sick, I need curing. The worst thing is all the smoke he blew at him. <laughs> Directly went for smoked. Just had 20 beds and edges, yeah. and he was just blowing it into his face. <laughs> oh, you're going to taste better later on. <laughs> 25-year-old. I mean, he's done well to get a 25-year-old round to his gaff as a 53-year-old man. Yeah. You know, fair play to him. It must have been quite I want to know animal. how he... Um, I want to know how he got him round. 
it was just off grinder. I think he was yeah, like, no, but... I'll suck your cock. I think it was probably that, mate. <laughs> yeah, but all so this... he was like, come round here and you can fill my gob with jizz. I think that was probably <laughs> it. I don't know if there's a lot more to yeah, it. I don't think it was, come round here and I'll eat you. Yeah, I think it was, ah, 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 yeah. ah. Or maybe it was, and he, mis- and he mistook the offer. Yeah. Oh, it was Christmas Eve. I'm but... going to put your meat in my mouth. And <laughs> oh, it, was... It, was... <laughs> it was Christmas Eve. Mr. Bacon That's not very Christmas Christmassy, is it? I'll tell you what, though. It's got the makings of a great Pogue song. Someone's getting coal in the morning. Yeah. I'll tell you that. You would have thought he'd gone for Kevin Turkey. <laughs> no, he wrapped it round. <laughs> Timmy Turkey. <laughs> 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 Fuck uh, it, uh. Uh. <laughs> so like uh, so like it, it was mr bacon was last seen on christmas eve warming a sausage <laughs> when he told the roommate he was leaving to meet a man he'd connected with on grinder yeah. his family reported him missing on christmas day oh it's a bleak christmas isn't yeah, it, it is a bleak christmas. i've ruined a few christmases with my christmas eve shenanigans but Have never you? quite like this talk us through it what happened just like well i don't think it's anything like that it's like just getting so hammered on christmas eve that i couldn't yeah. eat my dinner you know just being like shaky fucked on christmas day i've done that a couple of times you know like only like dog yeah <laughs> yeah like one christmas eve went back to like uh, cause we, we all worked in a pub we went upstairs afterwards and like had a big lock-in until like 5 a.m and like a girl who worked with us was like, in trying to be helpful, what she'd done was she was like, hey, because I know you all like smoking weed. What I did was I pre-rolled loads of joints for you this evening. Like I got all the weed, and I ground it up and I made joints for everyone. So they're all there. We're like, oh, that's all right. That thanks. is Christmassy. It's quite Christmassy. She'd used menthol cigarettes. Oh, uh, oh. She ruined all the weed we had. All of it. She used all of it. She'd made like fucking, she'd spent ages. She'd made like fucking 10 joints and all of them were minging. What's wrong with her? Loads of things. There was loads of things wrong with her. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's... She was the one who had a suicidal bunny. A uh, shout out, by the way. She was actually a good last She had a, a suicidal lot. bunny. She bought this massive bunny. You know, one of those like big bunnies they have on Teletubbies, you know, like bouncing around. The massive ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She bought one of them, right? And she brought it in the pub. Right, and, and like, uh, like the boss freaked out because we served food. It was like super illegal to have it in there. It was just like hanging out in there. We're like, get it home. But she just bought it. She was dead excited. She was showing us her big rabbit. Right, next day she comes into work and she's just like ashen. Right, she goes, I came down this morning. I'd left my lead on the rabbit when I went to bed last night, and it had jumped off like a bookcase and it got caught. Well, it hung itself. She came down in the morning and it, it, it was hanging by its neck. It, it was hung, dead. It hung itself. She, one day in her company, it killed itself. Oh, that's so funny. And obviously, we were all very sympathetic. Yeah. Was there a note? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it fucking killed itself. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she put menthol in all its food. <laughs> Uh, and mental health problems. Oh, fuck it, oh, that's your one. <laughs> no, I am taking that back. Mental health problems was very funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, got one left. So, like this, <laughs> this cannibal. How did he eat him? So, um, well, his his lawyer is saying that he did not plan on killing Mr. Bacon. Noting that he allowed right. police inside his home where the victim's body was hanging by the ankles in his basement. Why did he let the police in? Also, he reportedly also told them he had cut off part of the deceased genitalia and eaten it. Which part yeah, would you so, eat first? Uh, uh, so he's cut a bit off. You'd have a ball first. No, you? actually, actually, what I would do is, so if I was uh, going to eat dick and balls, yeah. um, I would possibly have the balls. Salt the water. So, so for me, I'd have the balls in like a... Uh, a, a ragu. A ragu with like meatballs. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. I just think that's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Um, An oyster or sauce. Or perhaps I would poach the bollocks like poached eggs. Right, yeah. You want to keep a runny middle. Yeah. yeah. But what I would do is I would cook the um, the shaft of the... I think I'd probably chop the bell end off. Mm. And I'd cook the shaft of the dick like... Um, uh, uh, like a steak, I'd sear it on all sides, and then mm. I'd just baste. I was thinking like sticks you could dip in a hummus, uh, like or like the tip, right? You could put that on a stick with a uh, pickled onion and a bit of cheese. <laughs> I put it in some mash and have bangers and mash. <laughs> That's his one. That's right. your one. <laughs> uh, that, I actually didn't even mean that to be a pun. I just thought that'd be a funny thing to eat. Uh, I don't think I don't think you'd eat the, the tip. I think you throw that away. You'd throw away the tip, sure. I'd throw away the tip. I don't Why? Think. That's the best bit. No, that'd be the worst. <laughs> bit, That's the I best think. bit of the dick. No, I think that'd be the worst bit. Why? I just don't like the look of it. 
I don't really like the look of any of it. Yeah, there's no bit no, of a I dick know, up but, like that looks delicious. I know, but, 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 but if you were to fry the shaft of a penis mm. and cook it really nice, I imagine you could get it pink the way through. It's <laughs> a so white meat. You don't want it pink. Yeah. What, sorry? It's white meat. You don't want it pink. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, but I cook it like a steak. Right. Like medium I rare. I don't think you want a medium rare dick. I think you got to cook it like pork. Really? I think you got a slow cook. Oh, human. in that case, you could cook, cook it like duck, and you could have it skin side down, and then you could put it in the oven for yeah, a bit. Get the skin crispy. Oh, crispy dick skin. <laughs> I'm genuinely excited now. <laughs> yeah, that sounded really nice, though, yeah. didn't it? Crispy dick skin. Uh, maybe blend it all. Have it as like a protein shake. No, you're ruining it. You don't want it. dick smoothie. I don't want dick anything really. No, but smoothie's one of the worst ways you could eat a dick. Pan fried is yeah, how you want it. My name's Dick Smoothie. Barbecue. And she's an onion. <laughs> <laughs> Together, we are onion smoothies. Uh, onion dick. Maybe on a little barbecue, put in a butty. Yeah, that'd a be A brown right. sauce. Yeah. <laughs> You're definitely going to need a heavy sauce to mask the flavour. Yeah. No, I think you want to bring the flavour through. Right. Maybe like a pepper. You really want to taste the dick. I think, I think if, if that's the only time I'm ever going to eat if a dick, eating, I want to know what it tastes like. If you're eating a dick, you want to taste the dick. No, if I'm eating a dick, I want it to taste as little of dick as possible. No, but this guy wants it to taste of dick. Sure, yeah. but we're not talking about this guy. I you're thought... the one who's excited about crispy dick skin now, and you're like, <laughs> I want to taste the dick. <laughs> you're getting too excited by it now. I like the sound of crispy dick skin. I know you do. Crispy dick skin. You'd eat a bag of that, wouldn't you? Those dick scratchings. <laughs> a little bag of cock scratchings. Dick scratching is what I got when I fucked your yeah. mum. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a film noir detective. Hey, I'm Dick Scratchings. I'm here to say there's been a murder. Oh, they're just... Yes. <laughs> just a little itch. Don't worry about that. Crabs. Drop, drop shock around the body. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Crabs. <laughs> oh, okay, I won't worry about that. Yeah, Dick scratching. Why did he let the police in? This is what's confusing me. Uh, if you know, if you big got fan a... of the music. He did not understand the gravity <laughs> of his crime. He did not measure the consequences at all. Yeah, I think he's fucking mental, is what they're saying. They're yeah, going yeah. for insanity. Yeah. And I think if you've also, got a body hung up in your basement, it's got, a fair shout. Also, as well, a nice house, shout, I was going to say shout out to the creepiest yeah. house I've ever seen. Yeah, it does look creepy. It looks like where uh, Home Alone's neighbour lives. Mm, smaller than Home Alone, nowhere near as rich. Yeah, but the neighbour lives in a different bit. That's right? like the yeah. Amateurville horror type house, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like, I think just all American houses look like that. Are you a big fan of, like, uh, you know, as we're approaching Halloween? Yeah. Are you a big fan of like horror and shit? Not really. I tell, like, I'm not really that into horror films. I don't really like them making me. I hate jump scares. They annoy me. Like, yeah. I get wound up. Um, I think I they're too like... obvious now as well. Yeah. I, I don't mind like I like some like I like I really like some like I love The Shining stuff like that. That sort of horror. I really love that. Like but, psychological. Yeah. But when it's really like cinematic and like just cool and interesting, you know, yeah, and it's yeah. like there's a character yeah. progressing. I like that. Or I either like that or. Like the worst shit ever. Like I love the film Chopping Mall. Have you seen Chopping Mall? I've not seen Chopping Mall. Right now, the thing that annoys me about Chopping Mall is there is no chopping in the entire film. Right? What? Chopping Mall sounds like people are getting chopped. Right? Yeah. yeah. What it actually is is a bunch of teenagers get trapped in a shopping mall and they're chased by a robot that shoots lasers at them. And like uh, it's like a horror film with a robot shooting them with lasers. So no one ever gets chopped. No, in there's not a single chop. I was like, give the robot a knife arm. But it's yeah. fucking class. I, uh, there was a great one. Uh, oh, what's it called? I think it might be called The Microwave Murder. Is it something like that? <laughs> it's about a guy who puts <laughs> women in his microwave. right? Yeah. And it's the... You're beautiful. I'm going to do you for three and a half minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the most misogynistic film I've ever seen. I loved it. I watched oh, it, hello. I watched on, it with what's my it missus, called? and it made me laugh so hard. She suggests it. She loves shit horror films. What's so it called? Uh, I'll have to find uh, the exact name of it. It's like The Microwave Killer or something like that. Um, uh, but yeah, like the opening shot, Right, it just, the film opens, shot, massive set of tits bouncing, right? They're in a top, right? And it pans out and it's a woman walking down the street. And it's through a series of wacky events, she gets stuck in a fence, right? On Sorry, a building did you site. Call it a series of wacky events. A series of wacky events. Mate, if you see it, it's a series of wacky events, <laughs> okay. Okay. right? Uh, she gets stuck in a fence on a building site. And then all the builders. Is it your sister in this, is it? <laughs> all the builders rush to go and sexually assault her. I said, like, this is like the funny, like opening scene 
they're all like, Whoa. I'm going to go shag her. Now she's trapped. And it's like, bah, 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 bah. and then, yeah, it's a guy uh, just murdering women, putting them in his microwave, like keeping the body parts in his fridge and that. But it's like so badly made. Is it it's a amazing. standard microwave or is it a giant microwave? Really big microwave. Right, yeah, it's yeah. like, you know, the, the, <laughs> there's a plot in the film where it's like. Yeah, it's just Kenwood on the side. No, like, the plot of it is like, I asked you to get a microwave. I didn't want one this big. And it ends, spirals into an argument with his missus and ends up getting her in it. That sounds dreadful. Yeah, see, I like dreadful because yeah, it's yeah, really yeah, funny. Like Sharknado and stuff. They're funny because they're yeah. so shit. Yeah, but the thing with Sharknado is, like, I'm not saying the first one, but I know they made loads of them. And when yeah. they start making more of them and try and make them shit, then it's shit. Yeah, it's yeah. got to be a genuine attempt at making a good thing that has failed. Then it's hilarious. I feel yeah. like I've seen every horror film. Yeah. Do you know what I mean by that? Like, like I, yeah, they're you very tropey. Yeah, 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 a yeah, lot of them are very tropey. Yeah, to uh, the point where it's so boring now that I don't. Yeah. I I can't remember the last time I watched a horror film and enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. why I don't like them. Not because they're scary. Just exactly. they're boring. Yeah, yeah most of them are really. There's no. Dull. There's no real plot. The like most, very thin. The most dull um, trope. The most dull trope is when there's a girl who's lost on her own. She's like, you know, and it's it's a bit creepy. And she's and looking no left. No one rapes her. She's she's looking. Well, literally. So <laughs> she's looking left, looking around. The music's do 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 do, and you're like, oh, she's gonna get it. And then she like uh, peels back a curtain, and then you jump, but it's her friend. Like, yeah. what are you doing here, Katie? Oh, fuck off! Yeah. It's just boring have every watched, time. Have you watched Handmaid's Tale? Uh, the one with um, where the breeding and not allowed to talk, they yeah, wear little yeah. red dresses and shit. I got about a third of the way through, and then they started Came talking and about. It off. It... <laughs> yeah, luckily before they started talking about feminism, otherwise yeah. that would have killed it. It's got totally. so stupid now. There was there was one in the last series where one, the main character. Climbs into a train carriage and it's mm. full of milk and she nearly drowns and then the train carries on and then she's like, oh, she's got to escape and she has to unplug a plug in the train carriage. It's ridiculous, right? And Sounds then it's pretty hot. And then as soon as as soon as that and finishes, she gets stuck. <laughs> and, <laughs> Keep going. And then as soon as that Keep finishes, going, Tom. On the, it, it, the credits roll and then Channel Four goes, "If you've been affected by anything that happens in this, <laughs> <laughs> so you've been trapped you in a train again. carriage full of milk." <laughs> <laughs> but that was in every single one. Yeah, like, yeah. It's just. Stupid, no, yeah. stupid. Yeah, I I used to enjoy horror films, but like I said, they're just so like... Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Although, my least favourite kind of horror film was the, like, paranormal activity. Do you Found when, footage. Do you remember when yeah. every horror film yeah. was filmed on a fucking old camcorder? Well, it's because yeah. the Blair Witch Project was fucking class. I love Blair Witch yeah. Project. And then, obviously, it sp- like, people went, oh, that was good. Let's do the one of those. Thing, right? And they yeah. spiraled so, and there's pa- loads of shit para- remakes. Paranormal activity was a film that I didn't like, but I kind of got it, right? right. But by the time they got to, like, Paranormal Activity 5, yeah. and they were like, hey, babe, I've just got a new camcorder. Let's set it up and leave it running. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, like, yeah. fuck off. Yeah, like, what they should be doing is they should have a live streamer be the person who's effective. There's a reason to have a camera on then. Yeah. They could be doing someone who's doing a sub yeah, that, they... that film exists. I've seen that. Right, I okay, swear yeah. they did one where it was like... Um, uh, home security footage. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. like something weird keeps happening. Yeah. Let's install cameras in every room at massive cost. It's like yeah, 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 what? Yeah. yeah, that's it. Like yeah, with the Blair Witch, it felt like it could have been someone's video diary. You know, and like people believed it at the time. Yeah. Like people were like, "Is this fucking real?" Yeah. And like, and it's really good, like psychological horror, because like fuck all happens. But like the final scene is one of the scariest things I've ever seen, even though nothing happens. You know, I think it's fucking great. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm just I, I got oh, yeah, so yeah. bored. Of... Oh yeah, definitely. Like the amount of like shit sequels and like stuff can't be. Asked. I also I because I just have no time emotion, for... empathy. That's it. You don't care when other people die. That's well, a problem oh, for you. Hor- isn't it? <laughs> just watching them like, yep, there's another one. Yeah. <laughs> so um, another one that really I don't like have any time for at all is um supernatural stuff yeah so you know like you know like the conjuring and stuff yeah it's like oh that's a scary doll you're like just put it away then yeah yeah. i feel like that was superhero films that's why i hated the end of true detective the first series when they made it all supernatural it stopped being about like a pedo ring and i was like the prestige is like that do you know what yes yeah yeah yeah. it's it's a it's a great film all the way through like how does he do this trick and then turns up oh it's just magic it's it's literally just that's the worst ending it can possibly be yeah Yeah, yeah. the worst ending to any horror film ever has to be jeepers creepers so jeepers creepers is an amazing film when you think that it's a killer Yeah, yeah yeah right 
But then towards the end, they sort of reveal that it's like a crazy fucking monster and the yeah. whole thing is just ridiculous and yeah, stupid. Yeah, yeah. But when you think it's a, a mental person... Exactly. Great. True Detective was exactly that. They set it up as this it was a paedophile ring that went to the heart of government. They were doing these satanic rituals. And I was like, cool. And then they were like, nah, it's just a big, fat, thick guy who rides on a ride on lawnmower who's got <laughs> magical powers. And I was like, get to... Fuck. And the way they they solve the crime and so they're like, yeah. hmm, that's got green paint on it. Didn't we look at a house that was green yeah. twenty years yeah, ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Uh, and, so, and, then, and then they went there and it was him. And that yeah, was yeah, yeah. Right, it was so. rubbish. But like the first few episodes yeah, it, it are some of the amazing... best TV ever. And I was the, like, this is amazing. There's one episode where there's, there's it's one shot for like yeah, yeah, thirty yeah. minutes, and it's, it's one incredible. of the best things I've ever seen. It's amazing. It's incredible. But then they ruined it. Yeah, yeah didn't stick the landing. I yeah. feel like that we've heard from Dust Till Dawn as well. Have you seen that? I don't know. No. It's like a Tarantino film. Yeah. And it's really good. Him, uh, Tarantino and George Clooney, the main people in it, and it's like they kidnap these people. Like, oh, this amazing film. And then all of a sudden they get to this bar and loads of vampires come. Yeah. But it's like two thirds of the way in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is just a bit shit. Yeah. yeah. Be more realistic, filmmakers. <laughs> <laughs> Vampires aren't real. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> so I'm watching the Avengers like, how do you get that big and green? <laughs> is he flying? People can't fly. No, I was like, how did he get that big? <laughs> I want to be that guy. <laughs> He's watching Ant-Man. <laughs> yeah, just, trying to get ang- just trying to get angry on my own. <laughs> I used to love superhero films yeah. before they started releasing them every three months. Yeah. Mm. I think they're fucking shit. So I, I do too. I, I think if you like superhero films, you are thick. Yeah. And the I virgin. Got, yeah. I got 20, Big, thick virgin. I got 20 minutes through the latest Batman film yeah. with uh, Robert Patterson or whatever he's fucking mm-hmm. called. Couldn't be arsed with it anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just can't be fucked. So I like, just grow up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> grow up. Get over it. When people are like way too into that shit, I'm just like, Jesus Christ. I've never seen Endgame. Never. No, I've no. not seen any of them. No. Like, I, I, I watched like uh, 40 minutes of Iron Man. I thought it was one of the worst things I've ever seen in my fucking life. But genuinely, if you enjoy Iron Man, you are one of the thickest cunts on earth. It is just, <laughs> honestly, fucking dribbling moron fuel. And it is just... <laughs> It is like, it is just, it's so... That's what he runs on. It's so transparently just being like, hey, look at the American army. Aren't they great? Support the American (laughs) army. They're brilliant. They should have whatever equipment they want and do whatever they want without any government oversight because they're great and good. It's fucking mental. Have you watched The Boys? No. Oh, I do like The Boys. I've I've seen a bit of it. My missus likes it. You you would love The Boys. Yeah, I don't know if I would. I've seen bits of it. I'm like, I just can't be asked. So, I feel the same as you about superhero films, yeah. and I really like the boys. Just, just, yeah. just. So I know it's like you know the main problem. The, the, that, the main yeah. problem with the boys yeah. is that it's called the boys, and yeah. that's a boring name for something. Uh, it doesn't sound great, does it? Like, do you want to watch the boys? No. Yeah, you can say that about anything. Game of Thrones sounds like a rubbish name. But... No, it doesn't. Game of Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. <laughs> There is a game of which thrones are part. All right, mm. boys, I like boys. The bo- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you added the word nude to the boys, you might. <laughs> the willing boys. Vulnerable boys. Yeah. The boys who keep secrets. <laughs> so. I've got a pitch for a new show. It's called I Won't Tell Dad. <laughs> it's the Rob Mulholland story. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can't tell that. Mate, what about can't tell, won't tell? Where it's you and just a, a kid who's been molested, but he's great at keeping his mouth shut. Can't well, tell, if won't only he'd been better at it. <laughs> so, oh, if it wasn't calling off fans virgins, it's probably this paedophilia chat that's going to lose us some pages. <laughs> the, um, uh, the boys is yeah. about a group of superheroes yeah. that are all called the seven, uh, and they're all essentially owned by a corporation mm. that have corporate interests. Yeah. Yeah. And they're power mad. Yeah. So given how much you uh, don't like corporations and you're very sure. corporate, oh, corporate greed, and all that fucking nonsense that you do. Right, um, <laughs> all that nonsense. That's what he says yeah. most of the time. Uh, oh, no one should be a billionaire. Yeah. Oh, people are wealthy and I'm upset. Well, there's uh, one down, can you? He's not one anymore. So. Is he not? Nah, he's a 400 millionaire now, so that'll show him. Well, yeah. what, he lost over half his wealth? Yeah. 
Adidas, How? Adidas he's lost his Adidas way. deal, so all the sales from Yeezy are gone. He's lost his Gap deal. He's lost. Uh, he can no longer work with his bank. Uh, he's been like he's just been. All his contracts have been cancelled for loads of shit. Whoa! I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah. I feel sorry for him. <laughs> I mean, I do in a way. It's one of those where it's like, you know, he's he keeps saying really fucked up things because he's very mentally ill. So it's like you know, it's all like. It's very complicated. It's you know, it's. Uh, I think he'll be all right. I think he'll survive. Yeah, financially, he'll be get all right. by. Mentally, yeah. he probably will recover. No, that's the problem. Who was? What's he? No, like saying, like you know, he's going to be fine financially. You know, he'll survive. He's he's going to make money off his records forever. They are like all time classics, a bunch of them. But yeah, he's uh, he's going to be very different from now on. And I don't. I think his next album is going to be shit. Like I reckon the lyrics are going to be dodgy. Yeah. I might yeah. listen to that one, actually. They were a cover of Hava Nagila. <laughs> what? What? I think it's bad what he said about Jewish people. I don't agree. I like them. <laughs> I like bagels. I like stand-up comedy. Cheers, the Jews. Okay. I think I'm... those are really good cultural contributions. I'm not even being facetious. Yeah. I, I like bagels. I like stand-up comedy. Cheers, the Jews. I think thanks to them. Yeah, I think we've got to say thank you for those things. I think they're really bagels good. Bagels and... Co- for ba- Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. So you're not giving just those the things. The entire Jewish population... No, not just those a, things. A, a rich and varied culture I'd say going back are... thousands of years, yeah. and they've made bagels and comedy. Those are their crowning achievements. <laughs> Come on. Those are the best bits. What what what's better that Jewish culture has produced that you like more? Nat West. Yeah, <laughs> there was a group called the Jewtan Clan who used to do. I oh know I just moved on. There was a group called the Jew to, Jewtan I'm Clan joking. who used to do uh, like Kletzmer covers of Wu Tang. Wait clans. a minute, there's a, the Jewtan Clan. That's a real thing, yeah. And it's one of the great regrets of my life. I saw their vinyl for sale in a record shop, and I didn't buy it. I uh, I moved on because it was like twenty five quid and I was skint. But I was like, that is funny. Yeah. 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 So they're just yeah. So cheers for bagels. Yeah. And stand up comedy yeah. and the Jew Tank Clan. Yeah, and all Do you the reckon they're stuff? now doing a cover band of Kanye? Yeah. Uh yeah, I don't know. Kanye yeah. Middle East. Is that is, is, I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't work as well. You need a good it? pun, don't you? Yeah, you need the pun to say. I it. saw a cover band once of Daft Punk, which yeah. was just two men in masks pressing play. Yeah, that's fucking smart to be fair. Mm. That is pretty good work. Yeah. 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 So anyway. I don't know what Daft Punk is. It's right. two men. Oh, I, I do actually they're know. They're DJs. Around the world, around yeah. the yeah. world. Yes. Yeah, they're That's DJs, the so to do a cover band of a DJ anyway is mental, but especially ones where they're just masks. So it's just basically a Spotify playlist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, and they're Fuck not they're mate. not even like, you know, they 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 they're also the producers as well, but I don't know like how much they do live. Like like uh, like Orbital, they like dance music producers, but when they play live, they play live. They yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. they make the songs there. Daft Punk don't no, look no, like no. they're doing that. No, they definitely don't. <laughs> yeah. I think all tribute bands are fucking nonsensical really, aren't yeah. they? There are some good Queen ones. Yeah, I saw a really good AC D C one once. Yeah, don't they yeah. sell out arenas? Not the one I saw. I saw them in Leeds Irish Centre. Oh, so, right. you know. Uh, but, just trying some new stuff. Yeah. But I no, like the <laughs> the Beatles ones do, uh, yeah. and like uh, the Pink Floyd ones do. The Pink Flo- but ACDC still exist. I mean, I don't know if they're ever going to tour again, but like when I saw them, they were definitely still a touring band. So, you yeah. know, it's when the band's gone, that's when they're huge. Like the Pink Floyd ones sell massive arenas yeah, yeah. full of old dads. I think that I cannot. My my mum once went on a date with a guy who took her to see a Pink Floyd tribute, and she never saw him again. She said it was the most boring night of her entire life. What is it about your mum and never seen men again? <laughs> I'm trying to think it's her at this point. Yeah. She's had a long term partner for several years now. You know. Oh, is she? Yeah. Met on the internet. Never met. <laughs> I've met him on Facebook. No, I met him. He's real. <laughs> Is he nice? Yeah, he's nice, yeah. Former cop, though, so... Oh, she's got a thing for army, cop. Yeah, she does, yeah. She Authority. Li- yeah, yeah. yeah, she likes a man in uniform. Ooh. She's a massive slag. Dirty bitch. <laughs> Can we move on, please? Have you ever thought about what your mum's into sexually? No, I haven't, actually. Thank you. She's probably quite yeah. submissive. Right, brilliant. So the fact that she's um, got yeah. this thing for men in authority Your mum just gets put on a spit roast. What? And I don't I mean just... two dicks. I mean over a flame and <laughs> I, oiled. I just because she's a big fat pig. I just, I just big meant... fat sweaty pig. I just with her meant... sweaty tits flopping yeah. about, Why? What? all covered in multiple okay. men's cum, so yeah. wanking I... off the homeless in order she can get the I calories feel, out of their juice. I feel that sounds really hot. 
I'm really I, into that. I feel as though you are deflecting because you don't like to talk about how your mum probably has submissive sexual fantasies. No, I don't like talking about that. But, but Correct. It, but it probably oh, well is Well done. Case. You've got to the deep, deep dark of my specific thing it, of not being into how my mum gets it shagged. probably is the case. Like... Sure. She probably kneels down and says, please, can I suck your cock, sir? That's probably what your mum says to your mum's partner. <laughs> Could be the other way around, though. Often, like, guys in a position him... of authority, like, being Nah, uh, no, 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 because she's, she's going for the same. There's a pattern of behaviour on her side. Yeah, sure. Uh, do you reckon she There's calls... a pattern of behaviour on your side. <laughs> do you reckon she calls your uh, your step stepdad? Pretty much. No, no. Do you reckon she calls your stepdad sir or master? I reckon, or daddy? I reckon your mum... No, not daddy. I reckon your mum calls See, her look, partner he's deflecting. Mr. Tato. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pasta Man. <laughs> He's deflecting because he's really uncomfortable about yeah. talking about this. Your mum has sexual fantasies about the Coco Pops monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather have your a bowl prefers... of Freddy's mum. <laughs> your mum prefers Rice Krispies because Snap, Crackle and Pop remind her of a foursome she had once. <laughs> <laughs> Just Snap, Crackle, yeah. Pop's left. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, Your mum wanked off Ronald McDonald. <laughs> She's the Burger Queen. Yeah, they call her the Slag Burglar. <laughs> she ended, slag Burg. She ended up with a spaffy meal. <laughs> a slappy meal. Uh, moving fillet, on. Fillet of fishy fanny. <sighs> Leave you that one. Yeah. Cheers, mate. <sighs> <laughs> Do you have a lovely question? Do you have a lovely question? (laughs) So so we can move on. Who wants a lovely question? (laughs) I do. If if this is about our mums getting shagged, I'm going to be furious. Well, there's a, as always, there's a a lovely question. Oh, there's a little animation, is there? Yeah. Oh, we've got to solve one of your fucking riddles. Yeah, today. Tom's autistic riddles. (laughs) Today on Tom's autistic riddles. um... I quite like these, to be honest with you. Yeah, you're good at them. Yeah, That's why you like it. Because you're on the same autistic wavelength. <laughs> I'm not autistic. I mean, you were very borderline in that test. I was not. It said to keep an eye on it oh. and make contact. What, like diabetes? Fuck yeah. off. Uh, He's pre autistic as well. <laughs> pre autistic. So today's lovely question yeah. is talking about he's got some things that will remind you of his favourite celebrity. Okay. Tom's lovely question. Now, oh, okay. The only bit I'm struggling with here is I can't remember the name. Is that the guy from The Wire? He is from The Wire. I can't oh, remember his character name. It's a big clue that one is. Okay, well. so I'm so we go got with, Black Five. I'm gonna go with Michael Jackson. Oh, Freddie's nailed it again, you know. But can you show your workings? Uh, so Black Sun Five. No, <laughs> that's literally what I did. Yeah. So, um, so I'm gonna go is ahead. He bubbles. His I'm, name is Bubbles. It's Bubbles, right, like the monkey. Like yeah, the monkey, yeah, the Michael Jackson. Yeah, yeah. And then S- Scylla Black. He's such a heartbreaking now, character. Now, Scylla Black, a fun fact about her, is she used to be called Scylla White. So well, that's a real black name. black or white? So a, a real famous name. song by Michael Jackson. Also a famous skin issue with Michael Jackson. I, as well as that, but yeah. I don't want to go there. I can't believe that Michael Jackson actually released a song called Black or White and it yeah. didn't get more traction. I think it, it did a, quite it, well. Yeah, it was a no, yeah, I mean, famous like, song. He did get more, no, he didn't get more traction in terms of people going... It's ironic. I it think did. they did. Really? Do you think no one in the 90s picked up on that? Do you think you're the first person to make that observation yeah, yeah, yeah. about the Michael Jackson they're song, Black mo- or White? They're all moaning about new coke. Right. Again, that's the 80s. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All blends into what? Nothing interesting happened during those times. Anyway. Nothing interesting happened in the 80s or 90s? No. AIDS? Okay. AIDS, that's pretty interesting. Depends. Depends how likely you are to get it, I suppose. Uh, let's move on. Um, what's your lovely question? <laughs> anyway, of? anyway, the five was because he was in the Jackson Five. Sure. Like, are you interested by Ebola? Yeah, I think it's an interesting disease. No, yeah. you're not. You just fucking... it's a very interesting disease. It makes people th- vomit up their own organs. We what's more interesting than that? Ebola is a very interesting disease. You okay. picked a very well, bad I'm example. I'm not interested in it at all, but I would be if I lived in like Central Africa or whatever. Sure. Yeah. I'm I'm interested in you know is it in like it's it's one of the more interesting diseases. If you want to talk to me about a disease, Ebola is one of the first ones I want to hear about. Mm, yeah. It's okay. terrifying. It's I think it's one of the most scary. Diseases. So Michael Jackson, I got it right again. You yeah. know, I don't want to puke my balls out. Uh, pick a number between one and eight. One. One. You have to make one species ex- extinct. Which species? Mm. Uh, what species is your mum? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go, hey guys, I'm going to go for the worst species, humans, yeah? 
Oh, God. Yeah, no, I'm not. Uh, no, no, no one should be a billionaire. Thing. No, I'm not. I'm going to go with the Turkish. <laughs> Don't do that. Who'd cut me hair? <laughs> you could find a Syrian who'll do a perfectly good job. Isn't it uh, mad how Turkish people are known for cutting hair and also growing back yeah, fake they're, hair? They're very much hair specialists, yeah, yeah. the Turks. Um, no, uh, that was just a funny thing to say. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have a vendetta against any species, and I think they're all important, isn't the annoying thing? I think they're all very interlinked. I think, if anything, we need more of them coming back. We've, we've already made quite well, a dinosaurs. lot of them extinct. Not dinosaurs, but some of the like seventy percent of animals we've killed in the last seventy years. I reckon yeah. some of them back. So if there is one you do want extinct, just wait; it'll happen soon enough. Um, jellyfish. Yeah. yeah. Right, Pilkinson. That's, that's what. I, what? <laughs> that was a Carl Pilkinson rant about jellyfish. Is it? Extinct. Yeah. I really don't like jellyfish. The yeah. the my least favorite animal. Some of them are fucking cool though. Only because you tried ones. to eat one and then found out it wasn't actually jelly. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't strawberry. <laughs> this needs more custard. Yeah. It's the only person who doesn't piss on his jellyfish things he puts his custard on. Just get a bit of cream. <laughs> this trifle tastes funny. <laughs> this trifle hurts. <laughs> uh, Can I have another one? What? Uh, so um, uh, yeah, I don't like jellyfish. Uh, ponies would be quite a good one, just to annoy posh girls. Oh, dolphins to fuck with make a wish kids. Yeah. <laughs> make them extinct as they're swimming with yeah. them. Yeah. So they're like they're like swimming with them and the dolphin just dies as they're swimming with them. It's like that'll be you soon. It's a little oh. glimpse into your future. Oh, There's a le- little lesson you need to learn. With the dolphin just disappeared. So they just, so they just... just threw its arms. No. <laughs> Just a tear rolls down onto his breathing tube. <laughs> they should give him a, a they should give him a dolphin. A tear rolls down onto his breathing tube. <laughs> they should give him a dolphin with the same disease that they've got. Now, if you rub it, you'll feel this dolphin's lumpy. <laughs> this is a really thin, sad dolphin. It's like swimming with a speed bump. Oh. <laughs> Dolphins would be quite a funny one just to annoy people. Pandas would be funny now because you know they'd, they'd, the panda populations are bouncing back. So it'd be really funny after all that work <laughs> if you just went, nah, gone. Actually, no, pandas. Because people waste so much money trying to conserve pandas that should go for uglier animals. Because they're cute, they get yeah, a, yeah. a massively disproportionate amount of money to conserve them. Um, but they just they, won't shag, will they? This is it. They're an evolutionary dead end. Let them go. Spend that yeah. money on, like, ugly Slugs. animals. That, Slugs. Slug, I yeah. keep right. We keep getting slugs in our house. They're just like emerging out because I live in like a shit terrace in Manchester. You're just connected to all the other houses, so you're just infested with shit. And like, I keep stepping on slugs in bare feet. Yeah, like, my student house is like that. A uh, couple of times a week, I step on a slug. So if you leave uh, a bit of cheese mm-hmm. uh, by the doors, sorts them out. Problem is also infested with mice. Oh, sorry? We're also infested with mice, uh-huh. so I don't know if that's going to be a great plan. I also, would move uh, also I, I just made that up. Right, yeah. So <laughs> I wasn't going to be really funny if, if I was leaving <laughs> cheese around my house. Yeah, I just thought It'd be breaking in. <laughs> <laughs> that was your long game, wasn't it? Oh, lovely bit of cheddar. You know what does help? Lots and lots of pasta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just leave it on the boil, and I'll be around. I mean, the, the, the slugs will be avoided. Yeah. Slugs don't like rigatoni. <laughs> No beans. They get trapped <laughs> in the tube, then you can just flick them away. Yeah, salt kills. The problem with yeah, if you like put them, that's too. Cr- I just pick them up and put them outside. I'm not a monster, but I think they're probably. Oh no, I watch them. I, I watch think they're them probably dissolve. performing some very important role in the uh, food chain slugs. I think birds oh. eat them and stuff. So I think if you take them not out in your kitchen, that... no, not the ones in my kitchen. But you know, uh, like I think they're probably important. So you probably couldn't get rid of slugs. Pigeons. Yeah. No, you need them to send messages. Yeah. Well. In an age of WhatsApp. Yeah, Tom's having wartime romances. Yeah. <laughs> Tom's in a very, very good lad's pigeon group. Yeah, he's got a bit of a... <laughs> he didn't, he didn't want to the like... memes take fucking ages. Yeah. <laughs> didn't want to bring it up. He's got a bit of a good night sweetheart situation going on at the moment. <laughs> With someone in prison. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you want to pick one for a lovely question? All right, we'll have another lovely question. Uh, four. Four. Uh, <laughs> I think this one's mostly for Freddie. Who picks four? What do you mean? Like What's wrong with picking four? It's a number between one and eight. Four is a weird what is wrong with pick? that? Isn't you f- picked one. That's a psychopath pick. <laughs> Isn't four a weird number to what? pick? It's right in the middle. Yeah. It's a four, is, four is a 
dickhead. I number. think one and eight one's is the a dickhead one. number. No, 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 no. Nah, like you're a twat for picking one. Four's a dickhead. Oh, Four's not a pick dickhead number. It's right in the middle. It's perfectly right. fine. <laughs> right. Can you just get off my case for two minutes? Let me pick a number. Right. Are we going for so, four? It's four. You find answer. Four. 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 There's four. nothing wrong with picking four. <laughs> it's, it is a weird number to pick. It's not a weird number. Let to us pick. know in the comments. <laughs> So we, it is a weird number. And send us some more lovely questions. I can't, I can't explain why it's a weird one's number. One's weirder. Pick, but it is one a is, uh, like, what one is, it just shows that you're a cunt yeah. when you pick one. Because you're going to go, oh, I'll go at the edge. I'll be edgy. I'll pick one. Do I expect that? It's oh, also yeah, it's the loneliest in the middle of the road. Yeah, just middle. Of, just one in the fucking middle. Oh, fucking just little the centrist over here. Just cut Oh, I can see value on both sides. Go fuck yourself. Right, go on. What What's the question? Just needed a number picking. How many you people would you let die so that you could live? Oof. How many people would I let die so I would live? Yeah. See, th- like we need more. I need more. For me, I need more parameters on this. Because okay. like, is it random people? Is it specific people? Like... We'll go with random. Random. So just random people on Same Earth. Same as the one from a few weeks ago. Yeah. Heads explode. Right. Just pop randomly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Everyone okay. knows. It's so you. I kind of. Know... They know it's me. They know I've done it. They know you're responsible. You did it so that you could. No, 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 no. So, 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 so the thing with if they know you're responsible. That's changed things massively. Yeah. So if all they... right, you don't know you're responsible. Okay, right. But some people will die at random. So mm. I am going to set my upper limit for this <laughs> at a billion. <laughs> what a billion or one? And you're like, no, nah, that's taking the piss. If you're going for a billion, a... you may as well go for six billion. A billion. <laughs> to be honest, at that point, right, you're at the point where it just feels like statistics, and you could really sort out population growth. Exactly. Yeah. That's, you know, well, that's what I mean. You... So, like, I think billion needs to be a lower number. If you're going in at that point, like, get like three billion gone. We'll like, you know, yeah. calm down. No, the but that's fifty percent in it. Yeah. So it's like you. That, that would sort the environment out. That would but... really help the planet. Mm. And it'd also like, kind of fuck with like economies and yeah, yeah but you know, like your family probably going to affect like this podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I think like uh, you know, because beyond one, you've got to go for a big swing. I think if you're going more than one, you need to fucking go in. I'd I'd set my upper limit at a billion. What well, what were you thinking? Well, I think because once you once you go past one, it's a different moral question, isn't it? Because you can kind of justify one morally. You're like, you know, our life's going to be gone. I'm all right. Our lives be... We're at the same spot as we would be anyway. Exactly. It's either me or them. At that point, I think you can morally justify it. Yeah. Once you get to two, you get to a different I actually, equation. Don't I you? actually absolutely love how Rob started off at one. Yeah, and, and you I went straight in at a billion. A billion. Yeah. I don't think anybody thought that wouldn't be the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think if people had guessed beforehand yeah. what our answers would be. It's very I on believe... brand. Yeah. I, I honestly <laughs> can't believe that you would start at one. I find that baffling. What do you mean? I, that's, I think that's a pretty good place to start. <laughs> you started at one of the fucking questions. <laughs> go at me for that. I just find it weird that yeah. you would look at one and go, yeah, well, a life for a life. Yeah. Like, why, why is that weird? Because you want the more people, don't you? I don't want more people. I don't want more people dead. For me personally, I would not have any problem with any less than like a thousand. That's fine. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't, I don't think it. I don't the, think it interfere with your issue, morning if you killed issue, a thousand people. I don't think. It, I would that not weigh on your conscience a bit that you killed a thousand people? Okay, so I know that we're all joking. Ha ha ha. Not even slightly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would honestly. I wouldn't care. Right. Not even. Remotely. What if it was someone that you like was What's caught up in it? Yeah. What if like uh, you know like. Your dog died. Oh, as well. I'd be very or upset. Or the guy who works at your local McDonald's. I wouldn't yeah. care at all. Uh, I, so I'd be very upset if my dog died. What if the guy was delivering your food and died on the way? Can someone pick it up? No, I'm afraid. He, he was a delivery rider. He just tilted over on his bike. He's gone in the ditch. Yeah, his head exploded, but it all stayed in his helmet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just took it off. Ah, oh, all of his <laughs> shoes. Um, but free pizza. <laughs> So I would say... I'm not that desperate to stay alive that I'd justify a thousand people. I'd be like, my life's been really great. I've already had a better what life is, than like 99% what, of people in history if I yeah. die now. What yeah. is... Here's a question. What is the closest person that, to you that would have to die for you to be asked? Uh, don't know. It, no, no, like the furthest person for you Yeah, to be yeah I'm trying to work it out, yeah. Like, uh, there's a couple of my relatives I'd be glad to pick. No, no, yeah, no, like, this... no, like, no, 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 like, so the for you to be bothered in terms of like upset. Yeah. Well, so if... I'd be I'd be upset if uh, people like anywhere would died because of me directly. So if one of our editors died, yeah, would you be bothered? Which one? Yeah. Like I've not met a couple of them. 
Okay, so yeah. if, if one of our they editors... They are doing a sterling job, though, if, thanks. If, if one of our editors that you haven't met yeah. died... Yeah, that would be inconvenient. Yeah, but for Tom. Yeah, that's true. I don't Tom deal with that. Because Tom's the Yeah, um, like, I would be... Like, if I caused them to die, I would be sad about that. What if, what if you... No, no, forget about you causing safe, they just died. What about right. if a comic... I would, you... be, I would be who sad did you, if one of them died. Who did you work with last weekend? Uh, I didn't work last weekend. I had oh. last weekend off. Uh, who did you work with? Uh, who are you due know. to work with next weekend? Uh, I don't know. You're asking me bad fucking questions. Useless. I'm gonna have to. I don't. Even, I literally don't know what gigs I'm doing this weekend. Let's have a look. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. The, I know. I'm trying to think of some people I've gigged before. with recently. Uh, oh right, uh, Jamie Hutchinson, Simon Lomas, and Aishan Akbar. I did that gig. For okay, you. so if Simon Lomas, if that, if that entire audience died, I'd be fine. If if, if Simon Lomas died, <laughs> yeah, I'd be sad if Lomas died. Yeah, would you? He's my mate. Yeah, I'd be gutted if Lomas died. I mean, not on stage. I say that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you genuinely be how upset would you be on a scale of one to ten? One being not asked at all, yeah. ten being overcome with grief, can't leave the house. Like I'd be really, really sad if Lomas died. Like really sad. Would you cancel recording here because you were too sad to record? Maybe. That's insane. He's a really good mate. That's I'd be insane. Gutted. That is insane. It's not insane to be sad if one of your friends dies. That's insane. He's like thirty as well. It'd be a tragedy if Lomas died. He's a lovely. What lad. has H got to do with it? What do you mean? It's sadder when young people die, you fucking idiot. <laughs> How is that not factored it? Do you think it's the same when an 80-year-old dies and a 12-year-old dies? Do you think that was equally sad? <laughs> I'm both not bothered. So, <laughs> so I guess equally zero so yes, shit's given. Yes, yeah. zero plus zero. Yeah, but the difference is, mate, I If Lomas empathy. died... Hi, Simon. If, <laughs> if Simon died, I'd be two and a half, maybe three. Two and a half? Out of ten. So I'd be like... Oh, that's a shame. He seemed like a nice guy. I remember like talking to him sometimes, and then that would be it. Like, right. l- like I'd probably, I'd probably talk about it in the green room that weekend, yeah. and then we'd move on. I'd be really, really sad. Really? What if, what if one yes. of us died? Delighted. <laughs> as long as it's not Tom, like, he <laughs> yeah, does Tom does like bit. does actual useful right. stuff. Like, I mean, Tom actually organizes shit and helps. You've built the studio now, so if you went, it wouldn't be an issue. Yeah, like my bit's kind of done. Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. don't have to turn it all on though. That's the problem. Yeah. You know, we Tom. could do we could do with an extra a new presenter, freshen things up. Suppose. Yeah, 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 yeah. Genuinely, if I died, yeah. how upset Out would you be? Well, it's expected like, if you die, though, isn't it? Yeah, this is it. I've already very much prepared myself for that eventuality. I'm ready for it to happen. I've done my grieving. Right. I'm all ready. <laughs> so, you know. If I died on the way home. Yeah. Oh, uh, we've already recorded, so that makes it less yeah. sad. Got into a car accident. Yeah. Really bad. Yeah. Uh, shot myself before I die. And right, now which I'm enjoying w- it. Which way you go in, will it affect my traffic on the way home? So, <laughs> so I, and when I died... Uh, my last words were, tell Rob it's been a privilege. Yeah. That doesn't sound like me at all. <laughs> yeah, I'd be, like, I'd be like, sorry, did he, did he have a head injury? <laughs> no, so no, you so died in a no. car crash and your last words are, tell Rob it's been a privilege. Tell Rob it's no, been like, a privilege. Get no, my rigatoni out, the slow cooker. <laughs> Who would put rigatoni Oh my God, the... I knew that I'd anger him. I knew that I'd annoy him. Do you know what would annoy me is if I said to a, a rescue worker like who's trying to rescue me, tell Rob he's been a little bitch. <laughs> and the guy was like, it's been a privilege. Tell Rob it's been a privilege. And I'm like, no, no, for the God. Tell him he's been a little bitch. A privilege. We got it. Whoever Rob yeah. is, he's got a great last message. Yeah. I'd go to your funeral. Would you? Yeah. I'd want you there doing stand-up. Hit on your auntie. <laughs> you want me doing stand-up? Yeah. All right, nice. I'll do a roast of Freddy. It's kind of a roast of Freddy anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, a grilling we're already doing. I, um... I'd be sad if you died, mate. Yeah, yeah. I, I've it's hard this. to find a reliable host. In it. I've said this many times. You'd be replaced by the next. We wouldn't miss an episode if you died. Yeah, you'd lose a lot of uh, fans. I think. I think it'd go. Down I think if one of us died on a Wednesday, then we probably wouldn't miss an episode. If someone died on a Monday, it'd be hard to get someone. For yeah, Wednesday. yeah, yeah. yeah. We Monday, record on yeah. Mondays and Wednesdays, by the way, guys. Yeah. I'd, I'd, yeah. I mean, I would replace you, obviously. You know, who'd you replace me with? Literally anyone. Really? It's not going to be. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't need someone fat. I do enjoy the jokes. 
<laughs> I will only replace you with a fatty, I promise you that. Oh, thank you. Yeah. We'll keep it's the nice tradition going. Nice to know that reinforcing this chair hasn't gone to waste. <laughs> That's it. I spent all that time fixing that. <laughs> also, we've got a really tall one, a really short one. You need a really something one. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, we are physical freaks, the lot of us. Yeah. So, you know, we have got that sort of vaudevillian vibe about us. Oh, let's get a disabled one next. That'd be great. I would love a disabled or a gay or an ethnic so we could really turn up the jokes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. that's why we that's why, you know, sorry Tom to talk about your predecessor. We were delighted to have a gay guy in the studio. We yeah. were very excited. Um but yeah, like Ishan would be ideal because he's fat and brown. So yeah, and a bit disabled. And a bit disabled, yeah. yeah. Quite camp as well sometimes. Yeah, he is, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. He's a lot more busy than Freddie though, so you know, harder to get hold of. Yeah. You know? Because TV in it, yeah. No one will work with Freddy, so no. Nope. Yeah, Freddy's dead, or mm. let him go to Austria. So, um, very quickly, shouldn't have touched her. Have, <laughs> have we, we shouldn't have passed out? Are you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> have we got any videos? No, well, not I've, today. No, not I've, today. I've, let's save them for the Patreon. Yeah, we'll save it. Today. This has been a long episode already. It's been a long old episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, if you or watching or on watching. YouTube, uh, if you have got any videos for us, send them to oh seven five two oh six double four nine three one. That's on WhatsApp. Check out uh, Patreon, patreon.com. Got forward big things coming up on Patreon. May our fucking, oh my God, our special, our first special film in a sex dungeon. Mm. If you want to see me get a sore bum. <laughs> <laughs> me he has a real meltdown over his sore little bot bot yeah you'll see why you'll see why see already you see how angry he i'm is. still furious i'm still furious <laughs> um if you want to see me have a real f- fucking autistic meltdown you get an extra episode every single week you get access to the videos that we watch you, look for your three quid you get fucking shit loads and it helps to support and keep this podcast going and that's the main mm-hmm. thing isn't it because you might have noticed whenever we've got sponsors we've not kept them long we're also uh <laughs> we're also looking at merch at the moment yeah, and yeah. Uh, keep your eyes out very soon there's going to be a dead men talking website with uh links can to... you imagine a website live shows and merchandise and patrons and all of those things it's kept like it's under 2007 one roof. i know check it from the world wide web <laughs> that'll be www dot <laughs> so if you like surfing the web guys <laughs> we should when, whenever we do it we should introduce it by saying the https colon backslash backslash bit like i thought it was forward slash forward slash i think it's backslashes why did they call it surfing the web you don't surfing. surf on a web da, 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 da. right peter k yeah <laughs> Surfing the web. Yeah. You got me bloody bored out, shall I? <laughs> Why anyway, did this? It just doesn't make sense. I think just some nerds called it that because it sounded cool, mate. Nerds. Yeah, bloody nerds. Bloody nerds. Yeah, fuck off back to Iron Man. Yeah. Right. You got really upset with Iron Man, didn't you? I felt so much. I genuinely hate it. Really? I really hate it. Anyway, let's end this episode. It's been fun. Thanks for being here. And um, now, off your fuck. Yeah.